All right, coming in at number five, we have the movie Lincoln. I mean, great acting at all, but there's just way too much dialogue for me. And a lot of that dialogue, it sounded like a whole lot of yapping, so I just didn't understand it. This is the type of movie that I'm only going to watch one time. So this is why I'm going to give it six pennies out of ten. Sorry, Mr. Gaiman, I didn't hear your vote. I said I, Mr. McPherson. Ah! At number four, we have Iron Jawed Angels. This movie didn't interest me a whole lot, but it did interest me more than Lincoln. There was more action in the movie, I'd say. Like the women picketing the president, them going on a hunger strike. If Lincoln was so boring, this would be my last ranked movie. I also didn't like the music. It just didn't fit. Oh, and they decided that a love story would be cool. I don't know why they put it in the movie, but I just didn't see a reason for it. Sorry to all my McDreamy fans out there, but I'm going to have to give this six and a half flags out of ten. Please show. What is a fire escape? Well, a vote is a fire escape. At number three, this is where the rankings get a little harder for me. I'm going to have to go with Dances with Wolves. This movie gave you everything you'd want to see in a movie. Action, humor, love. The story of how Lieutenant John Dunbar gets to learn about the Native American culture. The only real red flag I have about it is that it's not real. And with that, I'm going to give this movie 8 wolves out of 10. I just pissed in my pants. And nobody can do anything about it. Going in at the number two spot, we have The Alamo. Unlike Dances with Wolves, this is a true story. I was really impressed by how real the fighting scenes looked. I also love how great the actors were. They all played their characters really well. I'm going to give The Alamo 9 Santa Anas out of 10. I want to warn you all. I'm a screamer. Last but not least, in our first place spot, we have Sea Biscuit. I think what puts this movie over the others is that I would genuinely watch this movie multiple times in the future. With me being a football guy, you know I love sports. I'm not too familiar about horse racing, but it was nice to see something new. With an old homeless trainer, a half-blind jockey, and an undersized horse, this was the perfect underdog story. I'm going to give Sea Biscuit a whopping nine and a half war admirals out of ten. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You don't throw a whole life away just because it's banged up a little bit.